What's up YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr War Games and in celebration of the Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge um, release um, I have for you guys a Golden Castle Strongbug Fairy Tale, whatever you want to call it, deck. Um, so this is a, as pure as I could make it um, with, with a like a little surprise kind of like thing or like kind of like an option that you can do in here um thanks to how some of the cards work um so with all that said and done let's get right into it so start off we have three princes in or as you could call a cinderella that's konami seriously i don't know why you changed that name we all know it's cinderella it was cinderella in the anime <laughs> In your dubbed anime. <laughs> so, but either way. Um, so we have three Cinderella. Um, on no on summon, yeah, normal special summon, you can special one pumpkin carriage from your hand or deck. Then, if Golden Castle Stromberg is on the field, you can equip one glass slippers from the deck to discard. You can only use this effect of uh, Cinderella once per turn. And when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, you can target one glass slippers equipped to this card and one face up once your opponent controls, equip glass slippers to that target. So, um, with uh, thanks to glass slippers, um, I think it's either glass slippers or pumpkin carriage, she can attack directly anyway. So, you'll definitely get that effect off most times and not. What I like about this deck is that. Um, two of the monsters in here are immediately plus one on summon, though Cinderella is like a plus f two or three um, if um, Stromberg is in play, which is what I really like about this deck. This deck has a lot of um, card advantage um, just from simple summons, so long as you have Stromberg in play, which we have a lot of ways to search Stromberg. Um, so, going from with the rest of the three offs. I pay three pumpkin carriage. I was playing two pumpkin carriage, but I decided to bump it up to three just because it is still in the late game a nice summon off Stromberg. Because with pumpkin carriage, um, Cinderella you control can attack directly, and your opponent cannot target gold castle Stromberg you control with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, um, in the anime, um, that protection effect was built onto Golden Castle itself, so Golden Castle couldn't be destroyed by cards, card effects, and couldn't be targeted, but um, they decided to put it onto Pumpkin Carriage instead. It's a bit of an annoyance that they did that, but at the same time I can understand why it would just make Golden Castle uh, inherently broken. Um, but uh, by putting it on Pumpkin Carriage, but then having Strongbow being able to summon Pumpkin Carriage directly from there, it's kind of like it's built into Strongbow anyway. But um, just in the form of a free summon from the deck. So that's why I like Pumpkin Carriage at 3. Just because it is a nice free summon off um, Golden Castle. Next I play 3 Iron Hands. Um, Iron Hands is a warrior. Level 4 Earth. If this card is summoned you can special summon Iron Knight from your deck. Also if Golden Castle is on the field. Is not in the field zone. When this effect results, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Iron Hearts once per turn. You can set thousand attack for each face of Iron Knight you control while Golden Castle is on the field. So straight away, if you have Castle in play, you get this guy out. He gets Iron uh, Iron Knight and he becomes a 2200 attack. Um, but you'll see why this card is probably like one of the best cards in the deck. And it's probably the reason why um, the Golden Castle engine will be used in many other decks. I only play two Iron Knights just because if Iron Hans could summon from the hand as well, then I'd probably bump this guy up to three. But considering he could only summon from the deck, I only kind of want to play two of it. And so Iron Knight loses a power to attack while you control Iron Hans and he starts off at 17. Um, if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or sent to graveyard by a card effect, you can add one Iron Hands from your deck to your hand, or if Golden Castle is in play, you can add one Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand instead. You can use the effect of Iron Knight once per turn. So he's a, just a, basically he's in here for a free summon of Iron Hands, um, and then to help with your rank 4 plays, Link plays, and Synchro plays. 
So I see, yes, I said synchro plays. There's a tech in here. Um, so that's like the, you could say, the fairy tale engines. Um, for the searcher, we have three glyphs of the, uh, the phantom bird. So you can discard this card, add one golden castle from your deck to your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one card in your opponent's spawn track card and destroy it. You can only use the glyph once per turn. So this is what I like about so like we no, I normally like monsters that can like ditch themselves to search field spells anyway for like archetypes. But what I like the most is when they give them a second option, like a job to do. So not only is Glyph the searcher for the field spell, but he's also like a background removal. That's what I really like about Glyph. And then to round up the fairy tale stuff, I do play two hex true. The only reason I play two hex true is because again it's just a level eight. Um that it, it's weird. I'll, I'll I'll explain what hex true does. So if golden castles in the field, you can know some of this card actually be two. And once per turn golden castles in the field zone, so you can target one card in the field except this uh except this one destroy it. And if you do, this card can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. And when this card destroys a monster in a battle, if you can target one phase that monster you control, increases attack by 400. So, she can buff up herself while killing something, and she can kill something again and buff up herself again. So if you get two successful attacks off, you can get her up to 3400. And she's a free spot removal as well. Um, the, only, the only reason I play two of us is that you need... Golden Castle for her to be easy to summon, so I reduced her to two to mitigate any, like, not any, but you know, as many dead draws as I can. And to round up the monsters, I do play one Sheen Squire. So this will allow you to go into your Nat Beast play. Um, so thanks to the Iron Hands and that, you can easily make. Um, the Noble Knight Link, and by Noble Knight Link, you can just send Glass Slippers from Deck to Grave, Special Summon Machine Square, getting out another Iron Hines or Iron Knight, and then you can, you know, make your net beast. So it's a pretty nice little play in there to help you in your matchups. So the only proxy I have in the deck is for two Golden Castle of Stromberg. No joke, guys, me and Dale opened like six boxes or so, and we only pulled one. Golden Castle. They really made this hard to get for some stupid reason. Um, so Golden Castle Strongberg is the heart and soul of this deck. And once per turn during your standby phase, you can banish. You must banish ten cards from the top of your deck and face down. This is not optional. Or this card is destroyed. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster from your deck that specifically lists Golden Castle Strongberg in its text. You cannot normal or set the turn you activate this effect, even as this card leaves the field. Um, you can only use this effect on Golden Castle Stromberg once per turn. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy the attacking monster. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack that that monster had on the field. So, unfortunately, it does limit your summons. So if you do use the special summon from the deck, but that will that play will just get you started anyway. So. Getting a free summon, and then as I was going through all the monsters, like Cinderella on summon gets you um, Pumpkin Carriage, Hans on summon gets you Iron uh, Iron Knight. So, two of the monsters in here will immediately get you another one, and then that can make your link play. So, it does only limits your normal summon tool set, um, it does not limit your special summon, so you can just keep on special summoning afterwards. So, Golden Castle is really nice, and we have many ways to search it, including free copies of Terraform. And I said, Castle Stromberg is the heart and soul of the deck. We want to be able to search it as much as we can. So we have six ways to search it. And then we have nine copies of Stromberg. So, you know, we should get Golden Castle Stromberg. Um, one Roto, because we have Iron Hands and Iron Knight. Though really, you only want to search Iron Hands. Three Glass Slippers. The reason I like three Glass Slippers is because... Um, it helps your Cinderella plays, it helps anything else, but at the same time it helps your Resolve play by having an additional, um, not just any equip, but an equip that is actually part of the deck. So, that's why I kind of like the free glass slippers. 
Um, for Monster Room, we'll be playing one Dark Call and two copies of Iron Cage. So, Iron Cage is that when this card is activated, send one monster you control to the graveyard, or if Golden Castle is in, the, in play, you can send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard instead. And once per turn during your standby phase, you can target the monster that will send to the graveyard by its card's effect. Destroy this card, and if you do, special summon that monster to your side of the field. So, it's kind of like having a third, second and third copy of Monster Reborn in a way, in the form of Monster Removal. It's quite, I quite like Iron Cage for that. If you don't like Iron Cage, just take Iron Cage out and just pop in some other stuff in here, like Rageki or something like that. Dark Hole could also be Rageki if you have spare copies of that. So, but I quite like Iron Cage, I'm just testing it out for now. Um, three Call by the Grave, this this deck is important to getting Golden Castle Schoenberg, which means it's important to search, which means Ash Blossom hurts this deck, which means we want to stop Ash Blossom, but we also want to stop other hand traps as well. Uh, one Monster Reborn, this is Monster Reborn, and two copies of MST, this could be Twin Twisters, Cosmic Cyclones, whatever you want to have as back row removal, you can put those instead. And to round up the deck, I do play the Solemn Brigade of two... Uh, strikes, one judgment, and one warning. For the extra deck, it's just a whole bunch of powerful links, basically. Um, so, Bolo Dragon, Bomber Dragon, Deco Talker, the Azole for these old plays. Uh, one, this is Radiant because Iron Hands and Knight are Earth attributes, so you know you can make a Mrs. Radiant really nicely. Um, the Nightmares, so Goblin, Cerberus, Phoenix, just for removals. Underclock Taker, just for some like attack reductions. This combo is very well with Hextrude. Um, for the Xseed, I play the Utopia package uh, of one Utopia, one Rain, one Lightning. So that way you can resolve Lightning twice. Um, and one Babuska, and for the Synchros, Mrs. Radiant I mentioned before, but also a Chumbar, so you can just do some extra damage. And that, guys, is the deck. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will be testing around with this Stromberg engine in other decks. Um, yes, I will be testing it in Gokis, because, you know, a free is old is always nice. Um, so... Uh, one thing, I just want to check one thing from uh, Golden Castle. I can't remember if it said you cannot normal summon a set for the rest of this turn or just in general if you use this effect. So let me take a quick look. You cannot normal summon a set for the turn you have no effect. No. Unfortunately, it doesn't just stay for the rest of this turn. Otherwise, that would have just been a lot better. <laughs> because then you just normal summon first, then play Strongbook's effect, press the summon one from the deck, and then keep on going. Um, but no. So, guys, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this deck profile, the Fairy Tower deck. Um, uh, I will be look I'm more looking forward to seeing um, Siegfried's. Um, uh, other deck because I think they hinted that that's going to work with Golden Castle as well. So, um, Valkyrie deck, so that's going to be very interesting. So, if you can, while you can, get Golden Castle Strongbergs before they go up in price. Um, they're already a bit stupid price at the moment. I think at the time of recording this video, they were like £11, like £10 or something like that. So, um, Luckily though, in that set, I think that's like the highest price value in that set, it's like 10 quid. Um, so, you know, decide on what you want to do guys, whether you want to get um, boxed product or just get things singly. Uh, my advice is get things singly, um, while well, the things are cheap, um, even reincarnations were like 10 to 15 pounds, so even if you needed to pick those up through Trickster decks, um, they're going a bit cheap, which actually... On off topic, um, glass slippers. I'm actually thinking of putting in a trickster deck, um, just because the way that, the way that it just works is that it equips to any fairy. Um, in fact, I didn't even read glass slippers for you guys. So if this card is 
Equipped to a fairy type monster, it gains a thousand attack. If this card is equipped to a non fairy, it loses a thousand. It cannot attack and loses a thousand attack. If this card is sent to graveyard because the equipped monster is destroyed, you can target one um, Cinderella you control. Equip this card to that target. You can easily affect Glass Slipper as one turn. So, one thing you can just do is equip that to, um, to Trickster Bell, Holy Bell, and then you know you can attack directly with an 1800, I think like 2000 if the field spell is in play. So that's a free 2k attack, so that's already like one fourth of your various life points gone, and then you can start doing your face from there. So it's a nice little equip card for that deck, so expect a deck profile on that sometime in the future, maybe. So, like, guys, again, that's the deck profile. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more content from us. Uh, if there's anything from the Battles of Legends set that you want to be done, just post it down in the comments below. I will be um, profiling and updating another updated Rocket deck um, for you guys just because we've got a whole bunch of new support in that set, including a new Bowl Dragon. So that deck will be coming to you shortly. So, and as always, guys, happy dueling. Also, YouTube, thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And, of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.